Hi guys and welcome back. Excel charts are basically a big help to pivot the data and show you the right picture at the right time. So for example, in this table that you can see, you have a few of your customers who have been paying you um, during the span of last few years, but you don't know how much um, time they have been taking to pay you. For example, if I take the same picture into a summary here, so I can see each one of these customers, how long they were taking to pay us. On the, on the basis of the dates uh, that they were paying. So this is quite quite a clear picture that I have DDA and LMA. These are the two customers uh, and XYZ as well. These three customers have been paying very long. But if I go back onto this data, I really cannot see who is paying uh, when, so how long they are taking. So Excel charts are one of one of the good options that you can you can use to pivot it up and and immediately see who is doing what, uh, especially at your customer end. So for that reason today, I will I will show you how to make one uh, summary or one chart for yourself that can help you to give you a view like this one. So uh, first thing I have is the customer names and the due dates when these invoices were supposed to be paid and of course the dates when they were paid. So the first thing that you need is difference so I created one another uh, column which is difference and the difference is date paid um, minus uh, due date now I have this difference here so I'll simply pull it down tuck now I have all these dates and these are the days when these customers have been paying us like they have been taking to pay us back now the first thing I have to do is select the data go into your insert menu on the ribbon and go and select one of the bars for example I, I took this bar chart now this bar chart is definitely not a picture what i want to see so i'll go to chart tools on the top which is automatically enabled when i enter or insert any um, chart here design chart tools design and data selection so now this data selection needs to be changed so i will simply remove this selection and I'll add another selection. So the first thing that I have to enter is uh, the due dates because that's very important. So I will select due dates from here, which will be uh, kind of, you can see at the bottom, uh, this is a series value which is showing. Now I have a sequence here. So I will select okay. Now the due dates are here. I will add another column here and this will be a uh, difference. So what is the difference? Uh, that they have been taking to pay us. So I will select this difference as well here. Now I have the difference here. I select OK. Now I want to pull these customer names here as well. In the horizontal category, you can see that it's numbers. So I will add it this category with the names of the customers. Select. Now I can see the names here on the side as well. Now it makes more sense for me uh, to see how it is working. Uh, for for my uh, customer. So I, I, if I want to give the data labels, I will simply select this particular category, data labels, um, sorry, data labels, and I should select all of the category here, data labels. I selected the data labels and data labels are there. Now, the first thing that I have to do is to remove this this particular period, which is still the time in which was getting uh, like due, and then after that, it was getting paid. So I will remove this as no fill. And at this part, I will select this data and add it um, to another color. And of course, then I will change the text color as well to by selecting it. And then I'll go back to the text color and I will give it white, for example, it looks better. Now you can see that this is the time that customer has been taking to pay us. And now in this summary, you can easily see how much time each one of these customers has been taking uh, to pay us back. So this kind of summaries can help you to easily see um, who is paying when and how long they are taking. So it's, it's a good comparison, easy comparison to see yourself uh, what what is happening on the customer front or on your vendor front as well, if you are, if you are getting some invoices or some acceptances. So this can be implemented based on your creativity anywhere, um, any kind of tasks that you're doing. Uh, I hope this helped guys and um, it will give you to create some more ideas and some more charts of your own choice. Uh, looking forward to speak to you. Don't forget to comment in, in the comment section. And uh, if you if you, if you you wish to, to have some more questions or some, some more comments, do write it down. Looking forward to speak to you next time and uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.